good morning you guys i hope you're having a blessed a prosperous and a glorious tuesday we're finally getting caught up on like vlogging footage so you all are watching these videos a little bit more in real time versus <laughs> months and months behind i am as you should probably know by now in the um podcasting studio where i shoot here's the thing because the gang's all back this is empty um so this will be the first time me kevin and josh have shot in person in months um uh, so i'm excited get the synergy and energy back see what it's feeling like um i really didn't want to wear makeup today but i also don't want to be looking a mess <clears throat> And uh, <laughs> to be honest, I'll be looking okay for this podcast, and then for TBTB, honey, Melissa be coming with her face beat, and then that's when I look like The Walking Dead. So I'm just gonna do a little something. There we go, a little something so that I can halfway look like I care. Um, but yeah, that is. Ooh. Jesus, that's it for now. I'll show y'all the finished look. Oh, and in case you're wondering, what I ran out of was my Pat McGrath in shade uh, medium deep 24. Um, <clears throat> and what I am using now is Giorgio Armani in 10. So, all right, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. All right, so we just finished shooting. I'm gonna vlog y'all too, so. Uh, Marcus is gonna vlog some. We shot, yeah, we both got, we both have, uh, shoot, we shot. Let me change the uh, setting, hold on y'all. Okay, there we go. Now we're on automatic, cause what I was on before was just, everything was dark. I'm oh, Kevin probably about to be locked in. Oh, did he leave, please? I think he was walking Melissa out. Oh, I like the door. Yeah. What a, look at who's here. Hey guys, how do you vlog this? What number is this? Um, I don't, I don't I have them? no idea. Yeah, I have no either. One of them. <laughs> One of them, because we just now, they just, they got uh, August footage last week. Big vlogmas guy. Big vlogmas. I love vlogmas. I do too. Um, I was going to show y'all Kevin and Melissa, but I forgot to pull out the camera. Um, can you, uh, wait a minute. Press that button. There we go. I am on my way to the airport. See All right, week, see man. you next week. Drive safe, Josh. <sighs> I'm about to leave my husband. Let me give him some love and I'll talk to y'all later. You gonna miss me? Yeah. All right, so I'm on the plane and I didn't realize <laughs> JetBlue Mint is actual first class. Look at look at these. Look, 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 look. Look, come on. I was just prepared for the ghetto. And look at us, we're not in the ghetto. And there's like separate, come on, I'm here for it. I'm meeting my, uh, do you mind if I vlog you? Yes, sir. Sorry. This is my brand manager, Matthew. We're meeting for the first time in person today yes. at this moment. It's a good time. <laughs> New York, here we come. So what's good, fam? I stayed here at the office. Um, this is, so the set is now empty. So what I did in preparation for tomorrow is I moved everything in here so this is the let us tell it set um of course this is usually over here put that there because we are filming with gin and juice melanie and melissa are going to be on gin and juice they're going to be our second official host um yeah so i went on to set everything up for that then i handled some business and stuff answered some emails now i'm about to go pick up the twins I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick before I get up out of here. Anyway, so yeah, I went on, took care of that. Angel's now on the flight, um, headed to where she's headed to. Um, city's name is escaping me. I can't remember the name. Uh, where she's going? Yeah, New York. Anyway, fam, is it New York? I can't remember. I'm. I was in the middle of something else, and I said I wanted to show y'all this. Holla back. At you.
Jason Now I don't know why my goofy self thought I could record audio while on the plane. It's so loud. So anyways, you get your own TV screen plus some noise canceling headphones that actually didn't really cancel any noise. I could barely hear. I might have just had a bad set. I put my food down there because I didn't feel like holding it. But as you can see, there is ample leg room. Ample. It's ridiculous. And that's because the seat fully reclines. Also, in this little zip-up bag, let me just show you, honey, because I ain't never had this before. They give you a full pillow, honey, not one of those ones that look like a pill tablet. This is a full, at least full-size pillow, plus a comforter, because they know if you're going to be in first class, you want to be able to relax. And you can see that the seat reclines fully to a bed. It also has a massage feature. <sighs> uh, it's just, I ain't never had that before. Lumbar support, if you want a floor light. So if you can see if you drop something, and that's where you can plug in all your electronics to charge it, as well as your headphones. They give you a fresh bottle of water to drink. And then in this little compartment is the TV remote control. My little cord was broken, so it didn't pull all the way out, but it can pull out. Plus, They do tapas, so we're just fried chicken, salad, carrots, shrimp, chicken, or pork or sugar pork, something like that. And a cocktail to go So, this is actually a really good option. I have no idea. Of course y'all can't hear me because it's a plane engine. I don't know why I'm such an idiot. Anyways, there's some coconut oil that has a bunch of different benefits written on the back of it. It's by Conscious Coconut. You use a shaving balm, moisturizer, so you can use it for multiple things. They also had socks, which I definitely used most of my trip in New York because they were so comfortable. And what did they have next? Show me, Angel, because I don't remember. They had some, uh, turn it around, some de-stressing gummies. Yes, to help calm your system. I didn't get to use those yet, but I plan on it. And then they also have this um, like awakening mist to spray your face. I keep rose water with me, but I'm excited to try that too. <laughs> and last but not least, they gave you some lip balm from, I was telling you the name of the place is Salt and Stone. But yeah, they treat you real good. Oh, there's more. Oh, just a little card that tells you everything that's in the bag. I love it. That's what I was saying on the screen. Why did I do this, y'all? Y'all look at this food. Look at the shrimp with the pine nuts, honey. Look at the salad. It's a cucumber salad. The bread and that chicken slapped, okay? Smacked and everything. And then my little cocktail. <laughs> This was five star dining. Do you understand? It was so delicious. I told you I was licking the spoon. I'm going to let y'all see me try the ice cream. This is before I knew it was going to be amazing, okay? But I said I need them to taste this with me. And at first I thought it was going to be like, because they said a yogurt. So I wasn't thinking a frozen yogurt. Yeah, it had a little apple crisp with it. That's what I forgot. Have fruit with that thing. Y'all, listen. I had to try to act like I had been somewhere because it felt like I had been nowhere because that food was so good. I'm not used to that on a plane. What's up, y'all? <gasps> Just got to the house. So one thing I've been dealing with. So this is the man shit some of the orders. Um, Victory has started this process, getting everything boxed up. Um, having some logistical problems. It's been one thing after another. Um, the website that I use, right now it's a shipping issue. It's acting like, you. sometimes it's acting like 
you all's, the people that ordered address is not deliverable to. And then it's acting like, now, right now it's acting like that I can't uh, ship from the address that I have, uh, which is the address that we always use uh, for everything else dealing with mama likes and man shit, it, which is the our PO box. So I'm gonna go on here and try to figure this out. I hate that I have people waiting this long. Um, you know, cause I try to get stuff out as soon as I can. Uh, the first issue, like I told y'all, was the scented version uh, that started a bunch of, that, that was a whole nother fiasco in itself, just trying to, you know, get the right fragrance in, not have it overbearing uh, the fragrance. But like I said, got that done handled. I already told y'all about that. Um, but right now, everything is shit. It's boxed up, packaged up, ready to go. I just can't get the uh, something up. I don't know, it's the website. I might have to call those people. And that'll be hours and hours upon hours of trying to figure that out. But anyway, that's where I'm at. As Soon as I can get this figured out, y'all gonna get, start getting y'all stuff. It's early in the week. I would try to have I wish, hopefully, I, I wish I could have everybody's stuff to them no later than Friday or Saturday, but that probably ain't gonna happen. Cause I would have needed to ship everything out this morning and we've been trying to do it since this morning. So let me go ahead and figure this out. What's up, Amar? So I made it to New York, New Jersey, and we are headed over to New York City. We're staying in Manhattan. Trying to get it to focus. As you can see, it is raining. I'm so glad I got braids because I would have been frustrated trying to deal with my hair, even my natural hair in this rain. Um, but look at all that. Do you want to put on the heat or the cold that you have? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, luckily, the terminal. First of all, this airport, Newark Airport, is the ghetto at least the terminal that we were at they had these restroom sheds in the middle of the terminal that it was just sheds with like poster boards shellac to the side that just said additional restroom and it's like in the middle of the hallway it the most random thing ever but i didn't realize how big the airport was there's a lot of bad old terminals so it was just that terminal but that terminal wasn't too busy so that made up for it. Anyways, I'll give you a hotel room tour once we get to the hotel. So I'm at the One Hotel in New York, which is right across from Central Park. You're not gonna be able to see it tonight, but tomorrow I'm gonna try to remember to show you all the view of what I can see of Central Park, because I can barely see it with my own eyes, so I know the camera can't pick it up. But here's a room door, uh, excuse me, a room tour. And y'all know these New York hotel rooms are small, but this one is super cute. So here's the front door. I gotta make sure I show you all the key to get in. This is the last looks mirror. So you, literally, right before you go out the door, they got little hooks for your coat. So I'm gonna actually put my coat up. Oh, this is just a little space. Oh, so you can see like some of the structure of the room. Um, This, okay, I didn't even see this before. So a couple of drawers, I can hang up stuff. Some blankets, hair dryer. I think that's a hair dryer too, I don't know. Yoga mat, okay. And then, turn this way. Got some cute glasses for me to get my own water. Um, all these controls. Enjoy your stay, that's so cute. I like the lamp. And then the bed is nice, it's a nice size bed. Same little setup. Then there's this cute little nook. Ooh, come on camera. Cute little nook right here where you can look out. Does the window open? Don't nobody want that. Oh, it opens in. Okay, okay. So if I wanted a little bit of a, a breeze. TV's in set with the desk. There's a little coffee maker and I don't know let's oh little snacks there's the phone uh, they left a little message 
for me. They, it's under my manager's name because they did both rooms under his name. And then a little snack. Look, look, this is the room key. That's crazy. And then this little situation, you can kind of see down to the street right there. And then last but not least, I haven't even been in here, so we're getting in here together, guys. The bathroom, oh, it's gonna be so easy for me to do my makeup in here. This is cute. And then a standing shower. I don't know what that is. Why does it look like it? I don't know. Hmm. Mm. If y'all know what that is, tell me. It's not for me to sit on the floor, I don't know. Does it, can it sit on something? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that is the room tour. Gonna see if I'm gonna grab something to eat. I'm just gonna kick it. I don't know, but I'm about to call my husband. Bad chick, hey.